new Netflix uh, exclusive, Don't Look Up, with the incredibly stacked cast of actors in it. Uh, yeah. So it's a, it's a uh, satirical sci-fi comedy movie with Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Lawrence, Kate Blanchett, Meryl Streep, Jonah Hill, Mark Rylance, Tyler Perry, Timothy Chalamet, Ron Perlman, Ariana Grande, Kid Cudi, and then we get some sneaky cameos from Sarah Silverman and Chris Evans. And it's just like oh. Netflix, their movies at the moment, they are just stacking them with actors. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, what was the other one we had? Oh, The, the Rock, Gal Gadot, and oh, yeah, Red uh, Ryan Reynolds red notice yeah. and then this him. one they've this one they've stacked it with a, a incredible cast as well and yeah like it's paying off because i think this is like they just went over like 350 hours streamed since the oh, movie wow. released and uh it's basically it follows dicaprio and jennifer lawrence's characters who are astronomers and they discover that there's this planet destroying comet on a direct impact path with earth and then they have to go and convince the world and politicians and media that um if we don't do something immediately we're all dead like oh, this this isn't just gonna wipe out part of the world this is gonna be civilization ending bigger than the dinosaur asteroid like we need to do something right now <clears throat> and then from there, we sort of run into much like we saw last year with uh, COVID and I think probably more so in the last decade or so, climate change, basically the media and politicians and big business kind of just being like, don't worry about that. Like, don't, don't look over there. Just ignore that. That's nothing. Um, but it really is something that needs to be looked into. Um yeah, it's had like a really mixed reaction. I've seen like some people love it. Some people just hate it and gave up after 10 minutes. But mm -hmm. I think that's because of the way it delivers comedy. It's not like a Ryan Reynolds, here's a witty punchline or a wise ass comment. It's very satirical and they're inside jokes. Like you kind of have to know what they're referencing to pick up on the joke. So a lot of it is media, Trump. Um, I think the big one that when it really clicked for me was uh, Meryl Streep, who plays the president, when she finally dons a cap that says, don't look up. And it's like the Trump red cap. I was like, oh. okay, that one clicked for me. Like I, I can, yeah. I'm picking it up as we're going along, but that one was the most like in your face moment where I'm like, okay, <laughs> that's where we're yeah. going with this. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, like, if you don't pick up on those references, like, I understand why people are watching this movie and going, this is dumb. Like, this isn't a comedy in that sense. I um, With Leo being such a big climate activist, which is good, good, like, well done. Um, I saw he's been in, like, the Maldives or somewhere on, like, a super yacht worth, like, $350 million that has to cost, like... A quarter of a million to fill up with petrol and people are like how can you do this and then just be on like this boat it's like the um what's, what's those those royals i don't know megan and whatever her husband's name is they like big climate advocates but they fly private jets everywhere like yeah good on you but like come on <laughs> yeah uh look in the mirror guys look in the mirror you could be yeah. doing a lot more yeah and uh i read a few things where Jonah Hill, who plays uh, Meryl Streep's son and basically like her political advisor, um, he said that he views his character as if Fire Festival was a person. So his character is probably like the most in your face, comedic and funny of the lot. Mm. The rest are very sort of references to politicians and the media. Yeah, that makes sense. And then, like, I think some of the the most, 
the funniest sort of references were when Meryl, no, when Jonah Hill's character, he has a quote where he's talking about his mum and he says, if she wasn't my mother and then realizes I shouldn't be saying this and stops himself, it sort of very much echoed when Donald Trump was talking about uh, his daughter, Ivanka. If she weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. So <laughs> that was probably a very funny one. And then uh, in the closing credits, we see a red car floating through space, which is obviously a, a reference to the Tesla Roadster that uh, Elon Musk decided to shoot into space for because he could shoot a car into space. Like, <clears throat> and yeah, very like funny if you pick up on the the clues, but yeah, I totally understand people watching it and being like, nope, I hate this. Like, I'm not even going to watch 15 minutes. Like, I'm out. Yeah, I try to watch like five and I stop watching, but that's also because my attention span is really not good at the moment because it's been a big few weeks um, of enjoying the festive season. So I need to um, get back on my health journey and I'll try it again because then I'll have more of an attention span. But at the moment, it's just... It was like, oh, I tried to watch Red Notice during some period and I was like, oh, I can't watch this. I'm just not there at the moment. And then I tried it like two weeks later when I was like back to being healthy. I was like, oh, this is hectic. So yeah, I think that I know they're the type of movies that are, I have to like be fully invested before and I'll give another another go. That's another thing with the uh, Netflix movies at the moment. Like I think they've realized that sort of, they can get away with the two, two and a half, closer to three hour movie because like you can pause it, you can come back to it. So they're not, they're not going for that tight, cohesive hour and a half there. They're going for, we want you to sit here and watch Netflix for the next two hours and really bump up those hours streamed numbers. Yeah. Um, yeah it's funny, like I, something else I watched on Netflix was that death to 2022 or 2021. And one of the things was like, one of the girls was like, oh, I went to the movies, which I hadn't done for years, but I forgot you can't pause it. And I had to have a toilet break. So I peed myself and I forgot that wasn't acceptable. And I like <laughs> had a laugh at that. Like, because obviously like with watching stuff at home, you can pause and do whatever. Whereas like when I went and saw Spider-Man, my friend Will literally went to the toilet because he needed to go to the toilet and he went to the toilet as fucking Andrew Garfield came. So like he literally got back and he was like, what? And I was like, bro, you don't go to the toilet in these movies. So like, yeah, that's, as you said, they've got the advantage where they can have these big movies, you can pause it, you can like, yeah. Like by the end of Spider-Man, I was like, I wanted to pay real bad, but I didn't want to miss a second of it. Whereas I can just, I watched the death of 2021 in two sittings, even though it's an hour, I had stuff to do. So I was like, I'm just going to watch half of it and watch the other half. So yeah. Yeah, way to pick like the worst time to walk out of that movie, Will. Like 10 minutes before that, five minutes after that, fine. But that one moment yeah. was not the time. Yeah. Like the best part, the whole movie. Like, oh, 